Welcome back at 2020 Shakeup. Another one, Democratic Congressman Tim Ryan expected to announce his presidential run this week. Ryan's pretty moderate views are a stark contrast to most of the 2020 field, at least the ones getting a lot of attention, who are pushing socialist platforms. So how is this going to shake things up? Here to debate that, Republican strategist Kimberly Klasick and Democratic political analyst Kelly Hyman. Ladies, thanks for coming on this morning. Good morning. Right. Thank you for having us. All right. Uh, you know what? We're going to start with you, Kim. I, I want to ask, okay. can, can a moderate uh, in this political environment get any attention? Uh, perhaps. Uh, I think Tim Ryan should feel absolutely at home with the Democratic primary race that's happening right now because he's naturally known for two things. One, he's a loser. They love losers, right? Beto O'Rourke. No. He lost miserably to Nancy Pelosi for the Speaker of the House position. I think she doubled his vote. And two, he's a liar. I think he plays himself as his moderate Democrat, but inside he's really a closet progressive. He's for the Green New Deal. He's for Medicare for all. And I honestly think it... Basically, he's just lying to the American people and he thinks that we're stupid. Unfortunately, Democrat officials always think this. I think he's going to run on being the antidote, the anti-Trump. He's going to say, look, I'm different. I don't have that rhetoric, but I care about the working class. I care about the economy. I care about white America. But the Democrats don't actually subscribe to that, right? They're all about minorities right now. They don't care about white okay. America unless you're an elitist, unless you're a celebrity, a Hollywood elite. Kelly, two things. Is, is he, first of all, is he for the Green New Deal? Uh, I know that he has said that health care is an essential human right. Um, and also, as a white guy in the age of very important identity politics with the Democratic Party, how does that play? Well, you know, um, he is a moderate, and so we need to take that into consideration. But, but, but we uh, need... hang on, let me start real quick. Let me cut you off. Is he for the Green New Deal or not? You know, I, I don't know the answer to that question of whether he is or, or not for the Green Deal. Um, but I think that the important issue is that we need a presidential candidate that's not going to divide this country, that's going to unite our country. And so we need to think about that and do that. And he's not, as she said, he's not a loser. Um, you know, he's someone that... Um, has strong, moderate views, and I think it's important to think about that when we're thinking about a new president. Yeah, okay, let's look at a Fox News poll here that talks about this. Uh, in the Democratic primary, it is more important to pick, uh, and you gotta choose one of these, a candidate that can beat Donald Trump or a candidate that you can like the most. You can see where the motivation is here with this next election, Kimberly, and it's obvious. I mean, the, the hatred from, from most Democrats of Donald Trump is pretty clear. Um, could, yeah. this, could this candidate, though, Ryan, could he be a threat to Trump's dominance in these all important Rust Belt states? He took a lot of these blue states back. This guy is from Eastern Ohio. He's a Rust Belt guy. Yes, um, but I do want to go back real quick, Rob, and answer your question. He is for the Green New Deal. He's already admitted that. He said he's, well, rumblings uh, suggest that he's going to actually flip the script and pretend that this Green New Deal is really a job creator. And that's what I meant by saying that he thinks American voters are stupid. Now, can he go against that's President Trump true. in 2020? No, that is absolutely true. And he can't go against President Trump in 2020. Trump actually passes bills and does policy uh, with the American people in mind. And the Democrats they're just running on anti-Trump. And I have to say, I am suspicious of anyone that announces their presidential bid on The View, if that's where he's going today. Okay, I mean, why not right. go to a news source? Kelly, Kelly, real quick, let me cut you off, Kim, because I just want to ask, in the field, this vast and growing field, does he have a shot? Absolutely, he has a shot. Um, we need, as I said before, we need someone that's going to unite our country, not divide our country, and bring both party lines together. Okay. And all I right. think his his real position that. on the Green New Deal, whatever that might be, will determine whether or not he is a moderate at all, I think. Ladies, thank yeah. you so much for your time. Thanks thank for having you. me. All right. We'll be right back.